Hey y'all, MC Shaky, MC Shaky, live here. This is my first mukbang. And so what better of a topic for a mukbang to talk about than the Saucy Santana shooting fiasco? I've been asked to weigh in on this uh, by a few of the sippers. So I decided to do my first mukbang about today we are eating breakfast which is basically my favorite meal so it's a sort of kind of almost keto ish and i will show y'all um i'll bring the camera closer and let y'all see i hope i'm doing this right so that is the mukbang which is basically um i have scrambled cheese eggs cheese grits which are not keto friendly but kind of sort of bacon and sausage lots of meat that's what i'll be eating for the mukbang and it is a delicious breakfast meal that I am making. So I think I've been asked to weigh in on this because as many of you know, uh, Saucy Santana and I have uh, not had an outing or anything, but um, he mentioned me one time on his live as far as somebody who had said something in regards to him. He was booked for my party. He did not show, which I thought was unprofessional. Being that he was booked for my party and didn't show the reason he stated was foolish to me. It didn't make any sense. And I ended up banning him from New Orleans, which meaning I banned him from performing in, our, in New Orleans. And many, so somebody actually DM'd me and was like, Shaggy, you made this happen to <laughs> Salty. Ludicrous. Me banning him from New Orleans is basically a business ban, not a personal ban. I am not a killer. I am not a shooter, and I definitely don't have shooters in Miami. Um, so it obviously didn't have anything to do with me. So that was ludicrous. I don't even know where that came from. I don't know why people even thought that. But if y'all don't mind, why y'all here? I love crispy bacon. It is so crispy. It is good. I have it just right. I cooked it myself. I have the bacon just right. Oh my God, I love crispy bacon. I like crispy bacon with this is that little kind of burnt. Oh, I love it. So, while you're here, like, subscribe, and share if you don't mind. And I love you for it. So, let's get into it. Let's first look at this little video from the night that it allegedly here happened. being treated for a gunshot wound to the arm florida highway patrol says as justin was driving onto the i-95 entrance ramp at miami gardens drive early this morning another driver possibly in a white chevy sedan rolled up alongside him someone from that car firing several shots hurting justin another man in the car and saucy santana Wearing what appears to be a black sports bra, red tights, and the performer's signature trim beard and long eyelashes. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. Like, I'm a the music artist was visibly distraught. At times in tears. But when Saucy got feisty, in order to treat a gunshot wound to the arm. A lot of time in the Oh. Okay. So there's some serious stuff going on. Basically, he got shot out from coming from the office. Now, subsequent to that, the girl, Miami Tip, as y'all know, she has appeared on Love and Hip Hop. came out with a statement and she said that this is basically what happened tonight. Salsa Santana went on a rant talking about they did it because he's gay and he's a performer. He was throwing more money than the dudes and all kind of stuff like that. But Miami Tip was like, he was in there doing the most. All right. Now, as far as doing the most, when I say doing the most, doing the most, he was actually in there Pulling out his pants, showing his G-string to straight men, and just doing the most. Let me craft my words very carefully. When this first happened, I did post to Instagram that this should not happen to anyone. This being shot 
should not happen to anyone. This is 2019, about to be 2020. You really will go to jail for a long time for shooting at people. Understand that. They are not playing. Gun violence is a very hot button issue, especially against people of LGBT like lifestyle. This is a hate crime. People are not playing. So I don't think people should go around shooting people anyway. But I will say this. So let me craft my words carefully. I don't think this should happen to no one, including Saucy Santana, including the fact that I don't necessarily like the person. I feel like the person is very unprofessional. I feel like the person is not a good representative for the LGBT community. I think he's very, I don't think he's a businessman. And this is my personal thoughts about the interactions that I had dealing with him when my money as well as my reputation was put on the line by his foolishness. I'm not the only person that I have talked to as far as somebody that has actually tried to book him and everything that he has not shown up and stuff like that. Now, kudos to him for turning a negative into a positive because he's made a song talking about y'all can't kill me or something like that. I guess antagonizing the situation. But I think that you have to understand something. Even though this is 2019, even though about to be 2020, and even though that LGBT, LGBTQ is a very accepted thing now in the verse when we were growing up. It's very accepted. There's, there's a millions of people that are celebrities and, and notable, notable people that have our LGBTQ and, and whatnot, myself included. We still have to understand what's that. The office is a straight establishment where hood dudes go to see women take their clothes off. This place is curated for this type of people. This place is made for this type of people. And even though it's cool for you to go in there, it's not saying that it's, you're not, but it's cool for you to go in there and, and whatever, but you have to understand your environment. Just like I could talk to y'all and I got my white people voice in, and, and when I'm talking to white people about business, but I got child when I'm at home and it's just like, girl, what's going on? It's that too. But it's, you, have, so you have to understand that it's just the world we live in. We may not like it, but it's fact. The world we live in, you have to be different people in different places. It is what it is. When you at work and you at your job and you talk a little less whatever, then you do when you at home with your girls. I mean, that's just what happens. Um, and I think this is kind of like the case. Saucy Santana, you could be Saucy Santana everywhere, but if this place is curated, this place is made, this place is housed, this is where these straight men go to see women and go to employ them and to get whatever they got. This is what this place is made for. Then you have to understand that and you have to accept that that's what it is. Be yourself, living your truth no matter what. But I'm saying also, I'm not saying don't go there and be straight and be like, what's up, thug? Or whatever, whatever. Don't do that. But what I am saying is that understand what this place is. You're not going to go and, and, and I mean, it's just what it is. If you feel like you're going to go let me tell you something. Jay-Z talk about selling quarter wallers in a project, but when he went to the White House, he put on a suit. <laughs> I mean, it's just what it is. Beyonce, I've seen her perform. She don't stop. One of the greatest performers of, of our time, if not the greatest. But when she went to the White House with Obama, she was dressed classy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this is this is part of so this so if the straight people understand this this mechanic. Guess what we do have to do and understand that of in the LGBTQ community? That this is the mechanic that it is. So when you're there, I go to straight clubs all the time. I really like straight clubs more than I like gay clubs, personally. But when I'm there, when I'm there, I'm not just going to be doing the most. I'm going to respect the environment I am. Just like when straight people come to gay clubs, it's kind of like you understand this is curated. You're not going to go to the, in New Orleans, you're not going to go to the gay club and talk about, Oh, to hell with all the LGBT, you know, to help. I hate trannies. What? This environment is curated for this. Is Saucy Santana wrong for doing the most at this establishment? By all means, yes. Did he deserve to be shot for it? By all means, no. But what I'm saying is that with anything comes a certain degree of knowledge and caution. The first thing he ran it about was, I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. I'm a, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. So, so you just been shot in the arm. And the first thing come out your mouth is you're a rapper. They didn't do this because you was a rapper. They did this because you, and this is why, you're a rapper who is gay in a straight club trying to force your 
lifestyle upon men who did not come there for that. So I understand what he's saying. He feels like they did this to him just because he's gay. No, I don't think that's the case. I think the case is they did this to him because they felt he was disrespecting them in a place that they go. This is the first incident we've heard like this from this place. This place is not known as an anti-gay place or a place that does not um, allow homosexuals to come. As we've understood, there are other homosexuals, um, um, homosexual artists and stuff from Miami that have been to this place as well. And there was no problem. Now, is there a double standard? Yes, there is. There is a, a definitely a double standard in this country because a lot of times people do things and say things and we say it's okay, but when the shoes on the other foot is is not. Because I can't see in my mind where a straight male will go to a gay club and and exude his sexuality and then the ramifications will be that he will be shot. I can't see that happen. I, I just can't see that. So there is a double standard, definitely a double standard in this country, and there's a double standard in this world when it comes to that. It's definitely there. But we just have to face facts and certain things. And sometimes stuff is what it is. If me living in my truth means that it comes with also knowing who I am and knowing where I am, knowing, knowing who I am and knowing where I am. Where are my feet right now? Where am I sitting at? Right now, I'm at my mama's house. I'm a grown I'm a grown ass man. I just made 37 years old. But guess what I don't do at my mom's house? I don't curse like for real. I don't go around coming in and out the house all hours of the night. I don't. It's my mom's house. So I respect the environment to which it is because I have respect for her. So because of that, she does respect me as well. My mother, even though she doesn't even have to, she respects me. So I think if we could take that analogy and put it into the from the LGBT versus straight thing and do it like this. Guess what? You want the straight we want as as members of the LGBT community, we want the straight people to accept us. We want the straight community to accept us and respect us. We want to be able to, to get married and do whatever it is we want to do. But if, to to respect that we have to understand the environments that we are in. And we have to understand who we are and wh and where we are. If that makes any sense, meaning that to 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 earn that respect and to get that respect, we have to to we have to first respect. Does that make sense to y'all? You feel what I'm saying? And so, in the case of Saucy Santana and the shoe fiasco, um, I do strongly believe that some of the devices that happened were of his own lack of knowing who he was and where he was. And I think that started it. Do I think he should have been shot? No, by all means, no. Um, in New Orleans, he probably would have been bopped. <laughs> My heart goes out to him and the friends that he was with who are the innocent victims in all this and didn't have absolutely, absolutely, positively nothing to do with him. But the ban on him that I have in New Orleans is still in effect. He cannot come down here and do a show. If he does, it's not something. And so people were thinking that I was saying something physical what's going to happen to him. And that's not at all what I'm saying. I'm saying they're going to lose money because the day he does a show in New Orleans, I'm going to do a show across the street for free and I'm going to hire bigger people than what he is, even if I have to go and spend my own money, meaning that that's what I was saying. And I've said that repeatedly. So the ban on him from New Orleans is that nothing was like, so, uh, you know, I was not at any time threatening anything physical to him. I think that, um, and I have, you know, and I have mentioned, I didn't know who he was until August of this year. And I found out, um, and I do, I do think he's an entertainer and I do think he's entertaining, but I also think he's very unprofessional. And I think he needs to grow up a little bit. Now, what my thought about him matters. I don't know. I told that, <laughs> I literally told that meal up, like literally. I, was, I guess I'm hungry, it's breakfast. So I'm kind of hungry. But um, in so in in the in the case of Sauce Santana, what, that's what it is. Some people were saying, I don't know if this is actually accurate, but some people were saying it was staged. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because of the ramifications that were verified by Miami Tip subsequent to it. Meaning when Miami Tip said, girl, he was up in there doing the most. He was up in there 
he's getting all the security guard face and talking fly to those dudes that was in there and stuff like that. When when she came with that, I was like, oh, okay, so maybe this, you know, this this couldn't have been staged. Um, you, he was actually in there doing the most. Now, the um, so I don't think it was staged, but I do think that it came from his ignorance and his ignorance to knowing where he was. And I think there are those type of boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Even though we talk about, yeah, you, we talk about come as you are and whatever it is the case may be, you do have to understand this place is made for those people. This place is made for dudes to go see the girls on the pole shaking their eggs. That's what it's made for. This is what this place is made for. And you cannot expect everybody to be gay. You can't, I like, I, and <laughs> we, and the LGBT community, I think in our minds, we try to make everybody gay. And definitely everybody is not gay. And so this always starts <laughs> all kind of stuff. And so we know you a celebrity. We know you are a rapper. This is known. Evidently, you're not as known in Miami because the police didn't know who you were. And you had to tell them consistently and constantly. You know, if I get stopped by the police, police tell me. But if I get stopped in New Orleans, I would get stopped in my city. The police be like, shake it, go ahead on, man. Slow down. I don't do nothing but <laughs> try fast. So a lot of times I have been stopped. And the police was like, my wife watch you all the time. Slow it down. Keep going. In my city. Now, I don't know about, I guess you're not a celebrity in your, well, you're not a celebrity in your state. I don't know. But nonetheless, okay, that was a little shady. Okay, that was a lot of shady. Why can I not be shady? This is not supposed to be a shady topic. This is a mukbang. It's supposed to be some positive. So I guess the positive out of it is like this. First of all, I don't want straight people to judge this incident as, uh, as just across the board with all gay people because it's definitely not. It is so not across the board, but all gay people is not. Some of us actually have respect for our straight community, and we get respect from the straight community. Um, and I'm and I feel like I'm one of those people that has a lot of respect in the straight community. I have a lot of straight friends, and actually, I have really way more straight friends than gay friends. And I have straight friends that are dudes that are 100% straight, um, and that can that vibe with me, and it's cool. And I would never kind of bring my or, or force my gayness upon them. Um I am openly gay, but at the same time I kind of understand like this what the world is. The world is this. And I think that comes with age. I think he'll understand it as age. Um it's important though. It's important though for younger LGBTQ people to see the LGBTQ LG ah, all them letters. Alphabet, the A, B, C, all of A through Z, whatever. It's important for those younger ones to see the, us older ones in in light, if that makes sense. Like, um, they did a poll recently, and I wish I had the statistics with me, but um, when they asked young black males uh, in the 90s what they wanted to be when they grew up, none of them said anything in politics, senator, representatives, nothing like that. All of them want to be Michael Jordan or a rapper or something, or Tupac. <laughs> this was like the number one thing. But if you ask them today, there's from 0% to like 12% want to be president. So you, we start to see, you know, things in the light of, okay, whatever. So it's important for us in the spotlight of the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, to see people in certain spotlights. And so this is a, so this, so this situation, as far as the, the, the Santanas and the, and the Fridas and the RuPaul's and the, it's important for black LGBTQ people in the community to see y'all and the Justice Smilets, you know, we, we, we need to see us and lights to see, okay, I can be that. We are a visceral society now. We are a society of a vision. If we see it, we can create it, we can craft it. And so that's the thing that we need to see. So it's important to rem remember that. Even though, and I used to tell people all the time, well, shake I'm not, I'm, I'm shaky, I'm not nobody's hero. Like, I don't wanna be no hero. I don't wanna be anybody's hero. But you gotta also realize too, and somebody had to sit down and tell me, a good, good friend of mine, and I love them to death, that had to sit down and tell me, shaky, it doesn't matter what you wanna be, you're showing people something like you, you're showing people that get out of jail that you don't have to go back to jail. You can find a medium and 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 do what you have to do. And I'm also showing. So it's very important for you to remember that and be mindful of that at all times. 
as y'all can see, I kind of changed a few things that I did and kind of changed how I rock. I'm still shaking. Don't get it twisted. But at the same time, it comes to knowing of who, of who I am and where I am. And so in that case, it, it's the same thing for Saucy. It's the same thing for her. It's the same thing for her. You have to know who you are and where you are. You have to understand those things and you have to know that. And so with her going to her thing, you know, I don't want nobody to get shot. This is not a good thing. But also we have to understand, you know, if you don't want to get shot, Oh, I thought I heard the phone ring. Sorry. If you don't want to get shot, don't go in the gun range. If you don't want the heat, stay out the kitchen. It's kind of like the same. If I didn't want to go to prison, I shouldn't have been doing crime. It's kind of like you know, knowing that, being aware of that. So, is it his fault? I think so. I certainly think so. I certainly think so. Does he deserve it? Nope. But <laughs> did he bring it on? Yep. I 100% think so. Um, did he stage it? No. Is he banned from New Orleans? Yes, indefinitely. He is 100% banned from New Orleans. If there are any New Orleans promoters that are watching this, do not book this man because your event will fail. I guarantee it. I put my name on it. He has to... I have not... <laughs> I have not shook back from the fact that he damaged not only my money but my credibility with that booking. Um, And I didn't like it. I think he's unprofessional. I'm sorry he got shot in the arm. And I'm glad that it didn't become more than that and i'm glad that everybody it seems to be okay um he's found a way to turn his negative into positive so i still don't like him i still don't think as a person i still think he's unprofessional he's still banned from new orleans if i ever get a foothold in another city he'll be banned there too um and that's what it is i mean i call it what you want it is what it is so thank y'all so much for watching my buck bang um it was a delicious, delicious meal. It was a little breakfast meal. Um, please also remember to like, subscribe, and check out some more videos because I got some stuff going on. I love y'all. It's always Sip Nation, and that's what it is. Good morning, Sip Nation. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all.